Hi guys. Um, so I'm going to keep this quite short and sweet because um, I am not amazingly clues up in herbs. Uh, I usually just stick to what I know and I use the same sort of herbs, um, the basics and stuff like that in uh, ritual and stuff like that. So I will tell you about my favourite herb and what I use the most practically um, because I have an unlimited supply in it until like winter. <laughs> Um, and a bit about what I use in general. So, um, also, I'm let's see, sorry for this, I look awful, um, but I have not had the motivation to um, get changed. <laughs> uh, so yes, welcome back. I know it's been a while, um, and it won't be long before I'm jetting off myself and um, not being able to post for a while, but until then, I shall be here for as long as possible. Um, okay, so today I am going to be talking a little bit about my favourite herb, which is, sorry, I have a message, uh, lavender. Um, yeah, so to me, lavender is my favourite and it's obviously very popular with the other hosts as well. Um, but lavender is one of my favourite herbs because I've always been around it since I was like nine because in our front garden it grows like absolute shitloads um, and it's just such a therapeutic smell to me it reminds me of home um, so yeah it's always been a favourite of mine uh, and what I've always had available to use I've never had to buy it um, obviously scents and stuff like that I bought I mean I could make my own but just like for growing and in my spirituality and stuff I bought um, scented oils of it to you know put on your pillows at night and stuff Um, I find it's like a very f therapeutic herb Um, it's a, like a natural um, de-stressor if you like Um, I find it very calming myself like for sleep and stuff like if I have a, a few late night sleeps and I'm really anxious and stuff if I put a few drops on my pillow um, before I go to sleep it does aid a good night's sleep it does what it says, you know. Um, it's also really good for if you're getting massages and that done. Like um, that's another. It's like a natural relaxant as well because um, it's easily absorbed into your skin and um, like affects the nerve system. So when you're massaging it into it, it well, technically it's like a natural painkiller. So it says anyway. Like all natural things, technically. It's it says that but <laughs> whether or not it does well it does for me anyway um so yeah i would recommend using lavender in um under your pillow for a restful night's sleep i take it with me in my car um because it's obviously a really nice perfume um so it, instead of buying the car smelly things i put a load of lavender in just take a load from the bush outside and put it in my car doors um yeah, I put it under my pillow for a restful night's sleep. Um, it's in spell work. I find it good um, uh, protectant. Uh, so I use it for protection as well in ritual work. Uh, I'd recommend putting it in a dream bag. If you make dream bags or something to hang over your bed. Um, if you are stressful, take it with you. You know, it's a natural relaxant. So I would recommend that. Um... I think what else I use it for. Um, oh, I've made um, lavender lemonade. That's really cool. That is, well, it's not really, it's not like fizzy, but um, it's the whole process of um, straining it with boiled water, leaving it to set, straining it, getting it out, reboiling it with some sugar uh, on ice. Oh, it is absolutely gorgeous. I recommend looking up a recipe online. Um, because that's actually really nice. Well, it, it's not quite a taste, but it is pretty and it comes out pink as well. <laughs> um, so that is nice. It's also a very, um, like a clean, a clean smell. As well, I think. Um, sorry, I just heard people are uh, coming into my house. Yeah, it's also a very clean smell as well. Um, a bit of history. Um, the Romans used to use it in their in there like you know the big baths they used to add it to the bath water um 
and also the Latin word of um, lavender means to wash. So again, before it was used for perfumes and stuff like that, it was also used a lot for um, natural remedies as well. So there's another. Um, trying to think what else. Well, yes, for now, that is it that I can think of for lavender. Um, I can show you my lavender. This is what I keep it in at the moment, running a bit low. Um, but I also have, hang on a second. This could go on a bit longer than I thought, actually, it's five minutes now. Um, I've just got the last few, the flowers are gone, but this still smells pretty good. The last few bits. Um, and even though they haven't got the flowers on, that still smells really good. So, as the plant is, you know, dying for the winter, um, that's just my last bit of stock for it anyway. Um, so, yes, next. Um, another one which I use um, a bit of is, if I just show you, wait, let me lead out the way. Um, I'll just turn it around actually. This is my old of a Maybon. Yay! So that's that. Um this here is my I suppose you could say, am I even showing you that? Probably not. There we go. My hair box. Um it's like a little tea box that I got to start off with, but it's coming really handy. You may have seen this in past videos, anyway. Um, so it would be, I have like, you know, little things that I've got off the internet that are really good. Like it tells you the stuff online, what's in them. Like a psychic blend and stuff like that. It's just like, to start you off, it's quite good to have that sort of, you know, blend of herbs for themed things, if you like. So the other one I use is dandelion. I like dandelion in tea. Um, and um, preferably, in, sometimes in cold tea um, also it's really good in a salad um, depending on if people like to eat dandelions I mean it is, <laughs> it's hard to find but you can get dried dandelions um, online um, it's also um, oh, really good for detoxing it's good for the bowel system and stuff like that uh, so I would recommend if you are looking for a detox that is it. Um, it's also good for um, dream activity. So if you're looking to stimulate your dreams a bit more, then I would recommend a bit of that in a dream pillow. Um, it's also good for psychic awareness as well, um, for raising your psychic awareness. So like if you have like um, a detox hot tea on the full moon, and like it, it's really good for raising that sort of energy. Um, so I would use dandelion herbs in ritual for psychic awareness and stuff like that. Um, other stuff, I've got like quite a few essential oils that I picked up. Um, any like herbal teas as well, like fruity teas that are like mixes, like um, like berries and and stuff like that. If like you know, again, if you're not going to use them and you don't want to waste them, then I would recommend keeping the tea bags. And when you need a a certain spell for like love or something like that and you've got like a strawberry um, herb, herbal tea then I would just use the herbs in that as well it's a good way for you know recycling um, or if you're not going to use it blah 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 right anyway and any else I can think of oh yeah so uh, this is not really it is rose petals in there and oh my god if you leave rose petals to dry out for a good while it smells like honey it is so good like a strawberry honey and um, so obviously rose petals are easy to find don't really have to buy them online um so if you have roses around then i would oh the lighting is awful in this room sorry then i would recommend using that you know for the obvious like i love spells and stuff like that um so yeah that's all i can think of um again i'm not really that clued up on all herbs. I'm not like a majorly herby person, but the herbs that I do like, I do research and I do, you know, know why I'm putting them in. 
certain things. So yes, that is all for now and I will hope to see you next week. And I'm sorry for looking absolutely awful. Um, but I'm Stacey, I have been your Sunday host and ha I hope you had a wonderful Mayban or the Negnox. Um, for anyone else that was in England, if anyone saw the fireball across the sky, it was amazing. It was amazing. Anyway, okay, see you later. Bye!